Senko Hanabi is a traditional Japanese firework known since the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries. It consists of a slender rod made of twisted tissue paper, with one end containing a small amount of a special pyrotechnic mixture. These small fireworks are truly beautiful and playing with them brings a lot of joy. That's why I want to demonstrate that we can make them ourselves in an easy and safe way. Importantly, there is no need for any expensive, toxic or otherwise dangerous substances for this purpose. To prepare the pyrotechnic mixture, we only need sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda, sulfur, and charcoal. The best choice is charcoal obtained through the pyrolysis of pine wood. Each chemical must be dried before mixing. None of the ingredients are flammable or explosive. So unlike most other pyrotechnic substances, we can mix them together without the risk of self-ignition. So, in a ceramic mortar, I place 0.86 grams of sodium bicarbonate, 0.5 grams of sulfur, and 0.25 grams of pine charcoal. All the ingredients must then be finely powdered and mixed very well. After a moment of grinding, we obtain a dark grey mixture ready for making Senko Hanabi. The best for making this fireworks is tissue paper, which needs to be cut into narrow strips. A small amount of the previously prepared mixture should be placed on the paper strip folded along its length, near one end. The paper should then be tightly rolled to prevent the powder from spilling, which can be a bit tricky. Maybe not perfect, but our own handmade Senko Hanabi is done. To ignite the Senko Hanabi, we need to heat its bottom end with a lighter so that all the ingredients melt and form a hot droplet. Initially, we can observe that miniature flames shoot out in all directions from the hot droplet. After a brief moment, beautiful sparks come into view, accompanied by soft crackling sounds. The motif of Senko Hanabi is deeply rooted in the culture of the land of the rising sun and is connected to the concept of Mono no Avare, which is a Japanese idiom for the awareness of impermanence or the transience of things, and encompasses both a fleeting, gentle sadness as well as a more profound, enduring sorrow about this state being the reality of life. Mono no avare is often explained as an empathy toward things or a sensitivity to ephemera. The sparkling Senko Hanabi is beautiful, but the joy of watching it is tinged with a delicate sadness that the spectacle must inevitably come to an end soon. However, the chance to ignite another firework always exists, doesn't it? <laughs>